Good evening. We're here tonight with Telford head coach Tom Watkins and man of the match Jack Watkins. Imagine all the YouTube hits tonight with the two Watkins boys on the team at the same time. I know. How good will that be? Um, what's your thoughts on two back-to-back -back wins? That's always good when you get four points. I uh, really like the way we played. I uh, really liked our attitude, our intensity, the way we were uh, we're putting bodies uh, putting bodies on bodies, which is good to see. Good to see Jack using his size. I mean, he's, he's huge with the size of me. Um, and, and other guys, you know, Stokes are playing real hard, Rosie playing real hard. We were aggressive on our forward check, and I think our intensity all night um, helped us towards the, towards the last 10-15 minutes again. And Jack, what a performance tonight, man of the match. Uh, what's your thoughts, Jack, on tonight's performance? Yeah, it was a good game tonight. I thought we all played hard. We played uh, bang the body a lot tonight. We um, stuck with the game plan and we were a different team from last weekend. They seemed to be a bit shy this, this week, but uh, we capitalised on all the chances we had and we put them away tonight. Was you expecting a lot more from Billingham or not? Um, they, they always play the same, to be honest. They, they come hard and uh, we, know how to, we know how to play against Billingham. So. And their goalie got man of the match. I think he saved them a few times. Um, what's your thoughts on that goalie? Yeah, he's a good goalie. Um, he's not their starter, but he stepped up to the plate. He played well tonight for them. Um, what else do you think about the rest of the group? Dan Mitchell played out his skin again, got stuck in, fast to the book. Yeah, he did. Dan had a great game last night. Changed the game in, in several ways with his speed, with his presence. You know, he's, he's keen to get his feet moving. Um, he closes up gaps real well, and, he, and he's, he's an aggressive, strong young kid. Um, another good game from him tonight. Great to see him on the score sheet because he goes to the right areas and he's playing with two experienced guys that can get in the box so he, you know, he's, he's going to score. Um, he's, he's fun to watch. He's fun to coach. I've said he's, he's a good guy, good, good fun kid in the dressing room. Um, boys love him. And you know, when, when they get rewarded to their, their hard work on the score sheet, it's good to see. It's obviously a, a huge... Um, Huge thing for, for, for everybody, not just in, a, in the hockey club, but the, the, the way that everybody shows respect for the, uh, the armed services is, is really, really important. Um, and I think it did set a really poignant, uh, touching scene before the game. And I said to the guys coming back to the bench, you know, if you're not, if you're not jacked up after, after that, then you perhaps should take your kit off. Um, it, it was first class, it was really done well, and I uh, appreciate the time with Musician Bailey. And also, it was good to see the rink full. It was full, there's a lot of people here, lots of noise. What do you think about that? It's a good atmosphere, you know, and I think the game, uh, the game helped that atmosphere, you know, when, when, when guys are um, prepared to battle, they, they, they see people blocking shots, they see people uh, making contact, that's a game, you know, it, it, we want to be aggressive, we want to be able to play that way. Um, I thought the referee was good tonight, um, and, and that aids the atmosphere upstairs, it's good to hear people getting off, off the back of, of what was happening on the ice. Um, yeah, it was good. It was all in all. It was, it was a good night. Um, we move on now. Next week, Hull. Big game. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, they're a tough team. We've got to come to work next weekend. Um, they're winning all the games. They're battling for their title like we are, so it's going to be tough next weekend. And what do you think? You're up for it? Don't be stupid. Of course, we're up for it, Sean. We, we're up for it all, all the time. You know, Every day we come in here, we're up for it. We work hard. We All I can ask for the players is that they, they, they give it their best. Uh, we've got a tough trip to Solway on the Saturday. It means we'll be back late. We've got to put that one to bed um, and then come out here and, and play what will be, a, you know, probably one of the toughest games we've had this season. Brilliant. Congratulations, guys. Well done on the result. And we'll see you again.